Patch 14.10 looked terrible for Tryndamere, but I said it and I knew it, it was not going to be that bad. And I've been running Grass 90% of the time, Fleet 10% of the time with great success. But PTA Conqueror, not that much, not convinced. And for that game, I actually took it by mistake and still managed to go for a really good performance. So was it because of PTA? Was it because of pure skill? I don't know. You guys will decide that. Also, I'm thinking about doing a full Tryndamere guide that's completely updated for the new runes and new items. Let me know if you want to see that happening and if yes we're gonna start working on it anyway hope you enjoyed the video thank you for being here much love so what do we have here we have a stronger 3v3 we have a stronger 2v2 we have a stronger early they just have a better scaling oh shit no 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 Bro, it's been twice like that. Yesterday it was the same shit. I switched accounts and I played the wrong runes. Wait, and we're actually in decent MMR. Okay, let's make the best of what we have here. To make the best of PTA, I need to go D-Blade. I need to start a Stride Breaker. But then what's a good second item? Mortal, maybe? Because I'm facing Gragas. If I go Stride, Mortal, IE. What could go wrong? Or I can go Hydra, but then I have less skill pressure. I mean, less all-in pressure. I still have kill pressure. Or I could go Hydra, Zeal, IE. I made a year earlier. It depends if this guy buys defensive stats. I'm gonna go for Tiamat first, that's for sure. And then I will decide between Stride and Hydra depending on how the guy is playing, how the lane is going, depending on different kind of stuff. I click on you, I click on you. Ah! Ah, in a face rush. How's the games are going good so far? Well, uh, they were really good on the main. Then I went on the smurf because I've been playing six games and I know that I'm a good tyrant. And then I was really happy about that one, but I have PTA. I didn't want to go PTA, especially into Gragas. I mean, it's giving me, giving me free autos, but it's okay. We're going to make the best out of what we have. And I'm sure I can still have a good game. It's not like it's straight up bad. I don't I just think it's less good. Got the Cassante yesterday, it was so funny. I love Trint, yeah man. Always fun to play Trint and it's particularly satisfying when you stomp a Cassante. With any champion basically, not even with Trin specifically. Yeah, I was gonna say he can pull me. Wait, two third shots here? Really? I just really want my crash. And then if I base for cool, it actually doesn't matter that I got two third shots. Usually I take fast, uh, safer bases. Here I'm kind of hoping that he doesn't check. Favorite favorite Trin skin? Um, well, it used to be Sultan for many, many years. I actually have a skin share this video on my YouTube channel and a skin share this uh, on my Boba Fire Gate, which is not updated. I need to update it. But yeah, it used to be Sultan, but now I think it's Victorious Trint. You're really liking the cold start now, eh? Why is that? Well, uh, because I realized that in my in my mind, it was just a scaling item. But I guess not only a scaling item, you know, like gaining HP on autos is something. And then whenever... Also, I've been playing in higher ELO games. Like, you get less ways of punishing people and sometimes just like farming. And scaling up is the best way of punishing people and playing the waves. Because yeah, cool is just worse at getting solo kills, basically. I mean, why am I ghosting on the base rush? I guess for that reason, like it's not it's not actually that bad. It's actually not that bad. Because now I'm going to get 6 soon, running lower in HP. And also, like sometimes you don't need cool to be able to go for solo kills. And when you don't need, uh, when you don't need like long sword, refillable, etc. Like sometimes if, if it doesn't cost you anything to go cool, like you should just get it, you know, it's it's some stats and the longer you hold on it, the more stats you have. I'm, I'm one CS of level 6, maybe I can bait something here. Okay, well it's not gonna be a bait then. If I, if I didn't go cool, what would I have went for? A tier 1 boots or a long sword or... 
I don't know, but nothing that makes a huge difference, you know. Why is he worth so little gold already? We killed him once and he's worth 267. What the fuck is that? So yeah, just free gold. You know, I like free money. When, when we had magical footwear, I would go magical footwear because it's free money. Look at my HP, by the way. Full HP again. And that's mostly second when revitalized, but that's also cool. Oof. Tiamat. Thank you for builds on Trinity, just rushing Hydra Perma. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what I've been doing for my 13 games so far. I've been rushing Hydra every single game. Now, this game, because I went PTA, which was a mistake, I didn't want to go PTA. But of course, you can still make PTA work. I might be going for straight instead. Because if I'm playing for all ins, well, I want something that's strong for all ins, you know. And Hydra is not that. Straight is. I mean, that was a nice try. I will give him that. But the thing is, I'm concerned that even with straight, won't be able to punish that guy. Because it's Gregus with a ton of haste. And do I have an angle on Ari? I don't think I do. He's getting face rushed now. Wait, he doesn't have ult, no? Or does he get it back? Because the cooldowns are really short. I guess he does get it back. Kiana wants to look. Yeah, but the thing is, with my HP, I cannot just get Ryo. Okay. Should be fine, right? The most important part was not to die. She has TP for mid. Gregas doesn't have TP. I'm going for plates now. Get out of that. Oh, that hit! Well, oh, that was max, 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 max range. Hmm. I guess we can look for a dive. I think we're looking for a dive. Okay, I might have messed up though, having to hold that early. It's fine. It's fine. It's three of us. Ooh! I should have thought about that. I mean, they're gonna get T1 soon, but T1 of the game hasn't fallen yet. And I take the wave. This is this is more than fine. So stride. And now what? Doesn't have armor. Of course it's gonna be a crit item. But I don't think I'm gonna finish my zeal item. I think it's stride zeal IE. And then I will have insane damage. And I know I'm old, but I have my Flash Ghost and Straight Breaker. Decently strong timer. I think it was the right play. Okay, maybe we can catch Ari. Huge, 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 huge. No, I, sh I, sh I should be the, I should be the one. Yes, yes, awesome. Oh, ah, man, that's so good macro. That's 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 perfect macro. And that's not perfect. I mean, perfect if she went there earlier, but I should have been Talia to stay. We could have dove him. Maybe Blitz can do something. I don't think that was the best way to go about it. No, he should have waited. It's okay, we get his ult. He yeah, wants to dive now. That's that's a smart play. Because we cannot contest Harold anyway, so might as well get something on the other side of the map. Caitlyn committed a bit too much. It's okay, they're not pushing, they don't know. Can play for T1 now. I was gonna say, what do I, what do I build? They know what, what they built. I'm gonna build AE now. But the thing is, I mean, I have, I have a better spike doing that right now. And I wanna spike because there is a Drake fight coming in 27 seconds and it's soul point and I don't wanna give soul point for free. So I wanna contest that. And to contest that, I wanna be as strong as possible. Okay, mid prior, really important if you wanna play an objective. We lost our jungler. 
It's doomed. I don't know what happened, but they, they didn't have to force anything. Okay, let's just, let's just mute her. But yeah, like what are the threats on Drake? We're trying to play Drake, right? I'm bad. I'm trying to play Drake and the threats are the jungler and the ADC. And the jungler and the ADC are being mid. They're just trying to contest the prio. So what do we have to do during that time? Absolutely nothing. We just wait for Blitzcrank hooks. And we play on combos. They have Blitzcrank, Talia, Kiana. They try to make a pick. And they trade that on CD. And that's it. If they send Ari to me, I can actually kill her if I have Ghost. Even if she has ult up. Her ult cooldown is pretty short. She doesn't have it yet though. I mean, she might have it really soon. But I'm telling you, like, even if she has, she has ult, if I have Ghost and straight, I know that I can stick to her. Plus I have Davori on top of that. Just, we should just play off Blitzhooks. Maybe my split also. But if she plays it safe, I cannot like dive her. I can kill her, but I cannot dive her. I can bring her on side wave like, like I did right now. And then look to rotate, look for a play mid. I mean, we're fine with, the, with that game state. The only issue is that... Oh. Ooh. Juicy. Juicy hook from Blitz. I actually have a play in mind. I'm not sure why Ken is not going on Graves. Okay, what she's going now? I need to run because uh, Ari got some resets. Run, 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 Talia, 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 hello, hello. There's a Drake to play. Yes, Drake is spawning, and where's our jungler? He's dead. Okay, huge, huge. Bro, that got so close. I don't have my ult yet, and Grave is 1 HP. But we are forced to play it. Why are we forced to play it like this? Because Talia dies, wait till she dies, because she doesn't want to pace after Nash. Now we don't choose our Nash at all, and they get soul. This guy is terrible, and he doesn't even know it. That's that's the worst part. But it's okay. It's okay. We need to play here. They stay too long. Help us! But no, why are you going up lane? Meanwhile. Yeah, I had I had to walk in a way where. I will get just Jinx ulted. I'm gonna clear the wave so even if my team dies, we don't lose the game of that. I think an armor pen item is insane here. It's fine to be overcapped in, in crit with strength because you're not gonna be always full fury when you start a fight. Checking this bush with W, checking this bush with W. Well, we just need to play off Blitzcrank hooks and one shot. One shot them one by one. Basically what we need to do. I'm gonna stay here. We know that they have vision. But I'm still gonna stay in pur on purpose to try to bait them to walk up. This is exactly what happened. We can play this, but it's a short timer because Greg has probably has TP at that point. Making sure I'll mid you because well, no one was playing it. This and we can turn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're so bad. Gregus is TPing now. We have to run. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Now we buy some armor pen, and I think I think Bork is never a bad item once you already have items. Like it's good into squishes, it's good into tanks, it's good because it also gives you life steal. It's just just a good item. But this is this is really encouraging for further PTA usages because in some matchups I want to use PTA. Uh, we need to rush that. Where, where is she late? Graves is late. We need to rush it. 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 Yeah, Graves cannot smite that. Really good job by. Blitz.
Insane, insane, insane. Do we have a wave mid? We don't have wave mid. I was gonna say we can just group mid and end. Oh! Bro, I didn't even know he was still here. Okay, that might be the game. Now we cannot end from that. But we can look for... Okay, that was that was a bit a bit cocky not to ult something like I mean I didn't I didn't see the Graves ult coming. It's fine though. We still have Elder, as long as we have Elder we need to stay on the map. Just play everything slowly, siege them, we have Caitlyn, we have range. I'm gonna go back to full HP if they let me hit the wave. Insane, insane. Oh, I never thought of the Kiana Postalia ult combination. Bro, we hard carried that shit. Okay, there is room for PTA just because because the the three four items build is pretty nuts. That's why there is room for PTA. But again, into Gragas, I was not against the best Gragas on the server. Into the best Gragas on the server, I will probably 100% go grasp actually. I'm not supposed to be able to use my PTA here. My team like was playing top, etc. I got plenty of help. But into some matchups, as I said, like probably Nasus, probably Kale, uh, probably Rumble. Matchups that depend on you going for all ins to win them. Like you'll have to go PTA, like you don't have a choice. Like, like you're not going to go grasp if it's not good. You're not going to go fleet if it's not good. PTA is saved by the fact that... Well, these items are actually pretty good. I think the way I did it, you go... I mean, it depends who you're facing. It could be straight or it could be Hydra. You go for Zeal, which you can finish or not. Depends on the gold that you get. Maybe you go straight for IE. Or you finish the Navori slash PD. Then Armor Pen item because Lord Thumbs is completely nuts. And then last item, you can do Holebreaker if you're splitting. You can go Borg. You can go BT. You can go so many items. You could go Jack Show. You could go Zonias if there is a Karthus and you want to Zonias the ult. Looks, looks pretty good. That was our second edited video on the channel. You guys gave us a lot of feedback on the first one. Thank you for that. And please do it as well for this one. Let us know in the comments. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you have any suggestions? All of them will be taken into account. More edited content is coming for you every Sunday on this channel. To make sure to not miss it, subscribe. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye.